We've talked many times about all of the talented chefs who developed their skills under Cincinnati legend Jean Roberta Cavell. And next Tuesday, one of them is going to recreate the experience of Jean Robert's downtown restaurant, Pigalle's. Chef Todd Westermeyer is here with Brooke Berry, newly with the De Cavell family group, and we're so glad both of you are here. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome Thank you. home, Todd. My <laughs> yes, gosh. Yes, yes. I just got here. Yeah. Uh, so, Brooke, let me start with you. There's going to be a series of dinners. They're called the Tote d'Argent Celebration Dinners. What's the idea behind this? So the Talk Jean gives us a wonderful opportunity to celebrate Jean Robert for the entire year. He was awarded posthumously at the end of the year last year, and uh, people like uh, Jacques Papin, um, Daniel Ballou have received this award. So we're taking this year to reflect memorialize, but also celebrate everything that he did and everything that he and his wife Annette planned for the future. So That's it's great. a launching point for the DeCalvel group as well. That's great. Now, Todd, you have already started cooking some shrimp over right, there. Right. Tell me a little bit about the menu that you're planning next Tuesday and what you're doing with us well, this it's morning. Just, it's, a, it's an old menu he did years, 20, 20 something years ago. And uh, this is one when you know, goat cheese and goat cheese and beets were very popular, it became very popular. And he was, I think, a pioneer of that. Wow, but I didn't realize that. I think he was. I think I, he was. I'm not Lori surprised. Copied, he copied his mom, <laughs> but whatever. But that we use goat cheese with some lemon zest in it, and we we pipe it into onto the yellow beets, and we make a sandwich, a cookie out of it. Isn't that beautiful? And then the stripper cookie. What, tell me what it was like to work with Jean Robert, Todd. <laughs> well, he wouldn't hire me because I was too, I was inexperienced. I was in the art business and I decided, I want to cook. Oh, so goodness. I, so he says, you can't work at my restaurant yet. You have to work around. You have to okay. work around. So okay. I worked in two or three other restaurants and finally it was time. And he says, you're hired. And you were one of the main guys at Pigalle's when he was down there on yeah, Fourth Street. Yeah, I was a sous chef. And people who ate there, it was so wonderful. Yeah, we, I, I remember it well. Oh, yeah. That was... So we're gonna. And you're in you're in Europe now. Yeah, I'm working in, where? I'm I'm just working at home. I'm a, a um, I'm an artist, a painter, and a sculptor. Oh wow! So. <laughs> well, it's so fun that you're gonna do this uh, dinner. And unfortunately, Brooke, it is sold out. It but. Is. Um, tell people what they can do if they want to plan for one of the other dinners coming up this year. So what's very exciting and, and obviously Irish confirms course. how loved he is in the community. Yeah. Um, this event was sold out before it was even advertised, but <laughs> we plan a series of events and a select eight to ten individuals or corporations can actually buy out the space and go into Chef John Rivera's vault Ooh, okay. and choose from his folio of menus over the oh, course of his, his entire life. So oh. you can dine at the Maisonette, at Pagal's, at the table. Um, anywhere that he worked for wow. one night only. So if you do want to be on that wait list, it's going to go quickly, obviously. And as I said, the, the seat sold out okay. for Tuesday before. So we how do they get on the wait list? Contact me, you. Brooke, B-R-O-O-K-E, at jrcincy, okay. jrcincy.com. Okay. I'm going, to, I'm going to christen this now. We'll put that on this down. Com as well. What are you putting on there? A little this olive oil? This is lemon olive oil. Lemon olive oil. So we, got, we have lemon, lemon zest in here. Yeah. In the goat cheese, we have lemon zest coming up. It's going Isn't to go, that gorgeous? It's going to go on top. Um, Todd, can you just impart to people who never knew Jean Robert what he meant to this city? I mean, I talk about oh, it all I the time. He, but I think he was a revolutionary person for the, the whole food culture. Mm -hmm. I mean, th there was a big food culture here before with, with the first Masonette, Masonette and right. the first Pigalle's and the Gourmet Room because everyone shopped here. Mm -hmm. They came from all over Indianapolis and, and Louisville to shop here. And what do you do after you shop? You eat. Right. And there was, we had three five-star restaurants. The only city, New York, mm -hmm. did not have three five-star restaurants. And his, his tendrils just reach out all over the out. place. Oh, there's cooks everywhere in the yeah. world. Yeah. Well, we'll get that email, Brooke, uh, up on the website. In the meantime, if you would like to call La Barra Buff, where this restaurant, where this dinner is being held, the number is 513-751-2333. Merci beaucoup. Thank you oh, so sure. much. Right. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You. Bye. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right. Bye. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.